Like many other highly social and emotional beings, the elephant has a very intricate and well-developed communication system. They are able to display physiological information, emotions like fear and excitement, and also specific intentions and desires. For example, they can tell when it is time for the herd to do a specific thing or to go to a specific place like a waterhole. Elephants will use all of their senses and a variety of different forms of communication including acoustic, visual, chemical and also tactile communication. Let's first take a closer look at the acoustic communication. Probably the most iconic elephant sound is the trumpet. But elephants actually are able to produce a wide variety of sounds including rumbles, roars, cries and barks, just to name a few. They use those vocalizations to speak to or warn each other. Here are some examples for the different types of sounds. The most used vocalization is actually not the trumpet, but instead the rumble, ranging from a very low frequency of 12 Hz, which is below the level of human hearing, to as high as 470 Hz when they roar. A loud elephant roar can reach decibel levels of over 110, which comes close to a fighter jet taking off. An important sound is the so-called contact call, which elephants use to locate distant family members by making a powerful reverberating sound, which can travel miles and be heard by others in a long distance. After that, the lost elephant listens for an answer. If it receives one, it will emit another explosive sound. This goes on until the family is reunited again. An elephant's visual communication is just as important as acoustic communication. They use their heads, including eyes, mouth and ears, trunks, tails, tusks, feet and in general their whole body to communicate and talk to each other in somewhat of a sign language. For example, if an elephant is angry, it will flap its ears, kick up dust, toss its trunk or even charge. An excited elephant, however, widens its eyes and flaps its ears rapidly. A frightened elephant will rise its tail and chin. But to understand every little detail and all the subtleties of the visual communication, you might have to spend years and years studying these fantastic creatures. Luckily, there are very comprehensive databases with pictures and explanations on the internet if you are interested in more detail. Also feel free to check out all the sources in the description box down below. Just as important as the other two forms of communication is the chemical communication. Elephants have a keen sense of smell. The number of genes dedicated to smelling is the highest out of all mammals and even double the amount of dogs. Elephants are always inspecting things with their versatile trunk, moving it up or down, holding it in the air, sniffing the ground or things of interest like food, urine or feces. They will also use their sense of smell to keep track of each other and their respective locations. Next to all kinds of smells, the trunk of an elephant can also detect hormones and chemical molecules, which is important when it comes to mating and reproduction. When a male or female is ready to mate, it will show in a larger amount of hormones in the urine and other body fluids. And last, but certainly not least, elephants use tactile communication. And as weird as it might sound, elephants are able to feel the vibrations of other elephants' vocalizations through very sensitive nerve endings in their feet. Seismic energy is best transmitted in low frequencies between 10 and 40 Hz, and as we know from before, elephants are able to produce low frequency rumbles as low as 12 Hz. The sound will travel through the ground and eventually be picked up by their feet. From the toenails, the information will be transported to the middle ear via the leg, shoulder bones and its skull. But of course, they not only use their feet, but also their tusks, ears and more importantly their trunk for tactile communication. The tip of the trunk is very sensitive and can be used almost like a finger. They will use it as a tool to caress or reassure a calf or each other or to inspect and explore each other's bodies. It can be also used in a playful way or on the other hand in an aggressive way. 
Actually, I could do a two-hour video on elephant trunks and its use alone, and then we would have covered a minor percentage of all the information. So now I would like to end the video and remind you of the sources in the description box below for more information. On the way down there, it would be very much appreciated if you would leave a like on the video. Maybe subscribe to the channel as well for more content like this. But most importantly, have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.